Good morning, YouTube. Long time no see. Um, I've been taking a lot of information in from various sources about Fukushima, the steam out of Reactor 3, um, the West Coast, and, and the the effects of radiation starting to show up in, in those folks, you know. And let me just, I'd like to just read one part to you, and I'll post the link. There's so much information, as you all well know. But uh, exposure to 4 GY or more of ra ra radiation will result in gastrointestinal syndrome, in which the person will get really dehydrated in the first two days, and then there will be a respite of four or five days with nothing where the patient feels well but then the dehydration returns with blood filled diarrhea uh, and then the bacteria of the digestive tract will start to invade the whole body and create infections and there there sure is a lot about gastrointestinal symptoms and and watery diarrhea bloody diarrhea specifically um, a single dose, uh, a person who is suffering from cerebrovascular brain syndrome resulting from being exposed to 20 to 30 GY of radiation in a single dose will likely experience confusion, nausea, bloody, uh, vomiting, bloody diarrhea. So there, there's diarrhea and bloody diarrhea in that. And, and I know this isn't a very palpable, palp palatable conversation, but it needs to be talked about a little bit. So that's what you got with four or more you got a little bit of dehydration feeling not good and then you're okay for some time and then comes the diarrhea and then I'm reading also about this uh, cyclospora outbreak in multiple states it's on our SOE and there's a link to the CDC that I'll put as well uh, because cyclospora can cause a prolonged illness in the di and the disease is treatable with sulfa drugs, we want people to know that they should contact their doctor if they experience gastrointestinal illness with watery diarrhea that lasts for two or three days. He said, because it is relatively rare, it requires special testing. Usually don't test for it, he added. He also commented that the illness usually resolves on its own, but it could last for weeks or months. Um, and I'll read more about that right now. The time, be what are the symptoms between of well, this cyclospora? The time becoming infected and becoming sick is usually about a week. It infects the small intestines and usually causes watery diarrhea, sometimes frequent, really bad there, you know. Other common uh, symptoms include loss of appetite, weight loss, stomach cramps, pain, bloating, increased gas, nausea, and fatigue. Um, vomiting, bloody, uh, vomiting, body aches, headaches, fever, other flu-like symptoms may, um, may, may be noted. Some people who are infected with cyclospora do not have any symptoms, and if not treated, the, the, it may last for a few days to a month or longer. Symptoms may go away and then return one or more times. It's common to feel uh, very tired and lethargic from this cyclospora. So when I read about how to recognize radiation sickness and then I see this ongoing cyclospora outbreak of a magnitude that hasn't been seen like this in 20 years if the last one was indeed that from raspberries um, but at, at this rate What's the problem and what's being done about it? The FDA and CDC state local officials are investigating a multi-state outbreak of cyclospora illness possibly linked to undetermined food products. So they, they have no idea what's causing this. According to the report from the CDC, the health, uh, several state health departments have reported cyclospora infections as of July 22nd, uh, 2013. The CDC has not been notified of more than 250 cases of the infection in residents of multiple states including Iowa, Nebraska, Texas, Wisconsin, Georgia, Connecticut, Illinois, and Kansas. Illinois and Kansas have notified that they, won, they, they got theirs out of state. It's not yet clear whether the cases from all the states are a part of the same outbreak at states here. And uh, 
then back to what are the symptoms but you know it <laughs> it can last for a long time and really be debilitating you know and here it states it in both the CDC and and as well as the RSOE link um, it can go on for quite some time so at any rate I'm curious just because of the coincidental parallels there are in radiation sickness and how to recognize it with the watery diarrhea and, and intermittent bouts of feeling okay and then reoccurrence of the problem itself you know uh, God bless take care stay safe and stay smart pause we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.